Yo, what is up guys? What's going on today? How you doing? Anyways, we are going to fish with this big show. These new big show worms today. Um, these are the first time I've ever seen them in stores. And what I've learned is that we are in the post spawn. So these fish are gonna be traveling in groups and they're gonna be trying to feed as much as they can because they've been staying on beds for so long. But anyways, guys, we're gonna be taking a quick look at these new worms right here. They're really special and I'll see you on the GoPro at the water. All right, boys. So it's extremely windy and I have this awesome looking worm. Look at that, it's got like little two tails on the end of it. It's about probably close to nine inches. There's my boy, Zach over there. Oh, we're gonna try to catch some big fish. It's extremely windy. It's like really windy for how it's, uh, how it's been these past couple of weeks. And plus it's like around 70 degrees. It's been in the upper eighties for a couple of weeks now. This is a little change. We are, at, oh. We are in the post spawn right now, and these bass are just roaming around, searching for food. They're kind of grouping up. We're gonna see what we can do. I'm, I'm looking for a really big fish today. That's why I have this pretty decent sized worm on. All right, Zach, what you using, bro? I got a little bandito bug, Okeechobee. Okeechobee curl? Oh yeah. Do you think, flipping this wood, you think we're gonna actually catch some? Oh, I think so. I hope so. It's always a fun bite when you start flipping wood and you keep catching them. Just don't, uh, just don't break off. How good's my knot? There we go. Look at this cast. Hold on, if I can get it. Oh. Oh. Look at there. Zach's got one. Oh, get him up here. Wow, that was absolutely crazy. <laughs> right when it hit the water, he ate it all the way out there. Look at that. Nice little one pounder. Put him back. Oh. Okay. oh. Be all right. He will be okay. I'm not about to walk down there. In that snake infested water though. Dang, seems like Zach's on him over there. Let's talk about this worm real quick. This worm's got those two appendages on the back. And I mean, basically you can do anything with this worm. Um, like really, this is something that I've never seen before. So, like I said, it's nine inches. Of course you can cut it down. You can take these appendages off, make it a trick worm. You can break it off right here, make it a dang Senko. I mean, there's plenty of options that you could do with this. And he's got one. He's got another little baby. He's tearing him up on that bandito bug. He's gonna go over there. We're gonna uh, kind of try to steal his fish. He's catching little babies though. Just little babies. I'm looking for that big fish. Oh, that was nasty. That was awesome. That's just a little baby. That's just a little baby. I was just letting it uh, dangle from that little log that's right over there. <laughs> All right. So let's put this little baby back. Yep. Back in the past, I used to see snakes right here. And so I'm gonna try to get out here as quick as possible. This worm is really holding up for a while. I will give it that. that this worm is really holding up for a while. I thought I was feeling like some hard bottom, but no, that was a fish. These are just little baby dings right now, dude. And the crazy part is about this, about this worm, 
is that I'm still on this one worm. After all those fish that I've caught, all those casts, all those times that I've like went through lily pads, when all that stuff, all the times I've been through all that stuff, this worm is still good. This might be the most durable worm with the most amount of action that I've ever seen in my life. And plus you can never go wrong with the plum color. Plum is always a good go-to color. Also red bug, um, you know, green pumpkin, just something like that. I like to stick with like the red plum and like red bug colors when I'm doing like something other than a stick, stick bait. I mean, this bait, I mean, has done extremely well. It has surprised me tremendously. Bro, look at this worm. Dude, th like this worm could be like almost four things. It could be a speed worm, number one, because like look at the, look at the action in the water with the tails kicking. It's, it could be its own unique worm. You know, be on like the Texas rig, bro. You can cut this uh, these two appendages off, make a big trick worm, or you can cut it right here and make a stick bait. I didn't even think and, of that. and like I've caught like around three to four fish already, and I'm still on this one worm. You so changed? no, I haven't changed once. Pretty, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm I'm giving this worm pretty good props. Now, by no means is am I sponsored by this uh, this worm company. I'll give you a little bit close up, so I'm kind of giving you a rundown on everything that I'm talking about uh, later on in the video after we get done fishing. But guys, I mean, really, really, we're uh, we're gonna see how many more fish this thing catches, and uh, I'll see you at the house. But let's see if we can catch a big one. All right, guys, so I'm still on my first worm. I've caught a lot of fish, and what number bandito bug are you on? If I put this on, that would be four. Four? So Jeez. So basically, almost each fish that you've caught has tore up your bandito bug. Yes, every time I've caught a fish, I've had to re the bandito bug. And guys, I mean, you know how much I love bandito bugs. You know how much that, you know, I praise Guggen Baits and blah, 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 blah. But in all reality, I mean, we're catching the same amount of fish and I don't know, I'm still on this one worm and it's doing just fine. Is this one big? No, it's decent. Come on up here, buddy. All right, so he ate the, uh, the trick worm style. Whoop! Thanks for playing. Let's check the worm out, see if it's good. Better than ever. Man, I'll tell you what, this worm, this worm's insane, dude. I'll tell you what, this is the hardest working worm I've ever had in my life. Look at this. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, this. That thing is hanging on. <laughs> This worm's pretty serious. All right, guys, so we're back at the house now. So these worms are called Big Show, Signature, I forgot what they're called, Red Bug. Um, anyways, they are like, it comes in a pack of eight and they're nine inch worms, which I was right in the video, you saw that I said it was nine inch worms. But anyways, like I was explaining in the video that this worm is technically like four baits and it's got these little uh it's got these little two tails on the back and so this worm i mean honestly like i said this video is not sponsored i feel like this worm is literally the one of the best all-around worms that you can buy on the market um i don't know if you can find it in your local bait and tackle shop i hope you can because if you're in south georgia and you go to your like local bait and tackle shop you could probably pick one of these up but like i was saying i'm going to use this worm for example um this worm right here I'm gonna start off. It could be, number one, it can be just this regular worm. It's a special worm by itself. And I mean, you can do a lot of things with it by itself. You can swim it like a like a speed worm. These little two tails are gonna be kicking on the back of it. Um, also, you can put it on a Texas rig like I was doing in the video. And also, if you have a big enough uh, shaky head, that's what you can do also. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think of this. You can also Nico rig it. I feel like this would be like a really good Nico rig um, if you cut it down to about like right there, like cut this little piece off, be like this. This would be like a really good Nico rig. The other things that you can do with it, I said like you just take these two tails off 
and then you have a big trick worm. And so also you could cut this down to make it a little bit smaller, like a little bit smaller trick worm. And then lastly, take the back off and then you got yourself a stick bait. And so, like I said, this is probably going to be one of my favorite worms. They're durable. I mean, they have great colors. You can do about anything with them other than probably a trailer. I probably wouldn't put it, use it on a jig trailer. But, like I said, you can do anything with these worms. And I feel like these are probably going to be some of my favorite worms in the coming videos. But anyways, guys, thank you for joining me. Hey, if you're new here, click that little red subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments if you wanna see any more videos like this one right here. Also hit that little notification bell to make sure you know every time I post, you can watch every banger that comes out. I'll see you next time, guys.